Hey guys, this is Jella and welcome back to my channel. We are now part 10 of the No Game Pass Filipino Town series, and as I mentioned from the last video, this will be the last part before we do the full town tour. So we will be making this house on my back, and this house is owned by an old married couple that runs their small panaderia or bakery. Let's start building. So first we are going to make the interior layout and wall separations. The size of this house is quite smaller compared to the previous houses, so we will just make one bedroom for the old married couple. We still have the living room and a master bedroom, and I separated the kitchen since we will also make that a part of the bakery. I copied the previous house flooring because I like how this is really common in Filipino houses as well. So we will just copy that and the bathroom tiles as well. As for the walls, we will also use the plaster texture, and I think this yellowish shade of wall is perfect for them. So we will use that all throughout the house. I added this flat baseboard and changed the color and texture to wood, and I will be adding that in all the walls. And since we had the other houses furnished, I may be copying the items such as this screen door. I will try not to copy and paste, but when it comes to the bathroom later on, I will copy the items from the previous houses hee hee. I will be using this door again because this is the simplest door with details so I just copied the color from the other door. Some houses here in the Philippines have this large door frames and we Filipinos add curtains to cover the other side. So I am using this window frame and add the tied curtain. I think this is quite accurate to how I see some houses. And yes, we will use purple curtains because a lot of the grandma's favorite color is purple. I know a few of them who loves purple, including my granny hee hee. So I added a small fence here, but it just gets in the way, so I deleted that, and we will leave this entrance open. I'm just gonna add the mat over here. And we wouldn't forget the slippers outside the house. So I'm just gonna add two slippers, one for the grandpa and one for the grandma. The house is quite small, and they didn't make an expansion for the bakery's kitchen, but it has been almost 50 years since the couple lived in this house and started their bakery business. Even though this house is old, it is perfect for them since their only son has his own family now and lives in a different city away from them. So it is just grandma and grandpa living here while taking care of their bakery business. I'm just adding this umbrella stand since it is really a rainy season here in the Philippines right now. Let's move to the living room, and since it is just the two of them, we will only have a double cedar log sofa and I will be using a dull colored texture that makes it look like the covers are old and hasn't been changed recently. Just gonna replace the pillows to the square one, and I'm changing the pillowcases as well. And just like the other house, I am using this TV stand because I love how the shelves look so cluttered. So I'm just duplicating it to make a long table. Just use the delete undo technique to place them over each other. And I'm using this Nick's TV because the couple don't mind watching in this TV. They didn't want to buy a modern slim TV because they're used to this type. I'm adding photo frame on the side, and we will just put a family photo there. So I'm adding this long carpet instead of using the rectangular one because it is super big and I don't want to cover up all the floors. So I'm just going to duplicate this carpet and add this table in the middle. Adding some newspaper and a coffee mug since Grandpa loves to read while drinking his favorite black coffee. And I copied the frame certificates and diploma from the other house. I will change one of them to a family portrait. Just adding a small table plant since the grandma loves plants. And now we will do the dining table on this corner. We do not have a space to do the dining table in the kitchen, so we will just place it here. And I love this round table since it really gives the vibe of old traditional houses you know. And most houses that is owned by an elderly person has this type of wooden table. I just used the top like a tablecloth or linoleum texture. I copied the curtains that we made earlier and I really see a grandma living here. I am making the floor plant that the granny planted before and I'm just adding that there and near the bathroom door. So there is quite a space beside the sofa chair and I was thinking if I should add a side table. So we will just place a telephone there and why is this telephone so expensive? Like I just wanted to use this because the others look so sophisticated and the other is so retro. I just added some books, which also has contact list of phone numbers and a pen on the side. So now we will just copy some of the bathroom items because I don't want to redo them, hee <laughs> hee. I also added this small stool or banquito since some of us sit down while taking a bath, especially it is hard with the faucet being low. Anyways, I just want to finish this house because I am also excited for the tour. 
This town series was fun to do, and yet I feel sometimes I get a building block, and I am quite busy, so even though I want to play Bloxburg, I roughly have time. So I just try to record a build and edit it whenever I have a free time. Just like the part 9 that I finished building last week, but then I have no time editing it so it took me one full week to upload it. I love building, but editing a long hour footage really needs some time to trim it all down and then do the AI voiceovers. So I'm so sorry if I make the videos a bit faster because I didn't want to upload an hour-long video tutorial and add voiceover with that long video. So what would you guys prefer? Should I just leave the tutorials this fast forward with voiceovers guiding, or should I leave the video normal speed but no voiceovers? I actually make tutorial videos before with no voiceovers, but as suggested by one subscriber that doing voiceover would help in tutorial videos. I decided to use AI voice even though it does add a bit of work which is totally fine with me. Anyways, I am just making the bedroom of this house and we are back to old furniture items which is hard wooden furnitures. So I used the cabinet to make a large dresser, but I will delete the other one because it looks so bulky and cramped. The couple would just share their cabinet later, hee <laughs> hee. So I'm just filling up this desk with old books and I am adding a lot of photo albums in here. I'm glad we can stack up a pile of photo albums so this are their family photos from when they got married until their family grew. Granny loves to look at them every day, that is why it is a bit messy placed. And we also have a box container with I don't know what items they like to keep. So this desk table is actually for some of Granny's jewelries and makeup products. As you can tell, Granny takes good care of her appearance. She loves to do her makeup, so we will also add a small mirror here by using the delete undo technique to add it closely at the back. I'm just coloring the beauty products. And we will add some travel bags at the top of the desk. They sometimes travel going to their son's family. So we will add two bags and the granny loves pattern textures, so she bought this. And I made grandpa's bag all black. Anyways, we will add a mirror on the side, and I love this vintage style mirror that really fits their personality. I will be moving the desk on the other side and move back the cabinet to the other side. I will delete the other one to make the room less cramped. Almost all of the furnitures here are what they used to have since 50 years ago when they first bought this house. It just looks the same as two when they first started with two and ended with also just them two. I'm adding this ironing board here on the side and the laundry basket on the corner near the door. I added another window to make the walls less empty and a photo frame on the side. I also wanted to give this house personality, so I'm adding this nail polish in the living room where grandma loves to polish her nails. And finally, we are heading to the kitchen and I am copying the counter from the empty house we made before. I am actually excited because this is not just a regular kitchen in the house, but also serves as the bakery's kitchen as well. Even before the couple got married, the grandpa has a skill for cooking and baking, and he wanted to make his own bakery business. So he named the bakery after his wife, Nene, to show his love and dedication for her. They started out with just the two of them trying to make the breads. And now after almost 50 years, their business is flourishing and is now the best bakery in town. Although you cannot see any other bakeries here, so yeah, theirs is the best hee hee. Anyways, I am just placing down the appliances that we will be using, and this is the largest commercial oven we have, and it is super expensive, bro. We will just have one since it is just a small family-owned bakery. And the counters in the middle was too wide, so we will use this table instead to make some walking space around the kitchen. This center table will be the mixing area and where the knead the dough. So I added here the baking utensils and some flour, eggs, milk, and salt. I used this bowl since it is big and it really does look like we are mixing in something. So I'm just gonna fast forward this part of me cluttering up the kitchen.
This wall is looking empty, so I am gonna add a hook rack over here, and we will also add some aprons over it using the delete undo technique. So this is quite tricky because we guess where the height is supposed to be, but it's a trial and error, and we just have to do it regardless since we don't have an advanced placing game pass. We are finally in the front of the small bakery, and this is how it looks like in the Philippines where the bakery display case is a bit inside, but it is very open here so you can just stand in front when you want to buy. There is quite a space left so we will block it off with a plain counter. And I will make the texture of the top of the counter a linoleum, so we will use that pattern and the base of the counter would be wood. I'm adding this simple chair for the vendor because the grandpa supervises the bakery and they hired someone who is a relative to guard the front. Now we will be making the breads and we will not bake or use food items here. So to make the custom made bread copyable, I will place them in a mat that I recolored the same as the display counter. Now for the panda sal, we will use this soap since the shape looks like a panda sal and we will just recolor the base to match the mat and then the bread to yellowish shade. We can't change the texture, but that is alright. The good thing is we can place them next to each other, so this is all good. So I'm just gonna fill this up like it is a full tray and now we can place the whole mat to the counter and we can also duplicate it. I love how it looks because it kinda resembles a panda sal from a far hee hee. Now we are going to make Spanish bread. And we will be using the rolled napkin with ring. This is quite skinny, but this would work since we can't resize anything hee hee. Now this is gonna take long since we want the breads to be closer together. So we will do the delete undo technique where we delete first item and then drag the second item to where you wanna place it. Now it kinda looks like Spanish bread in a full tray. I also changed the texture to make it look bready and flowery. Now for the second layer of the shelf, we will make the Kaliheem breads, and this have different colors of red and violet or Ube Kaliheem. So I'm just making the first tray red. And I was thinking, should I make the Ube Kaliheem closer to the red or should I leave a gap between? So I just placed the red tray there, and I will leave some space in between to kind of differentiate the red from the Ube Kaliheem. And I was looking for something round from the decors, and I saw this yo-yo, and this is definitely good to make a hopia. So I copied the color and texture of the Spanish bread we made earlier, and I think this is good enough to look like a hopia. So we have hopia mango, and I will also make another batch like beside as ube hopia. I copied the kalahim we made, and I will make this pineapple pie that is also popular in bakeries here in the Philippines. So yeah, I just colored the middle filling to yellow. As much as I want to add a panda cocoa, I won't be able to add one for now. Anyways, the last bottom layer we will just duplicate the hopia we made earlier, and I will recolor it to make it look like crinkles. So the left are chocolate crinkles, and the right one is red velvet crinkles. So for the next bread we will make, I want to use a rolled towel because we will be making cheese rolls. So we will just copy the texture of the breads we made earlier. And now that I placed it in the middle, I think the crinkles are gonna be blocked by how big this rolls are. So we will switch their side and make the rolls on the end. I copied the kalahim we made earlier, and this time I will recolor it to make a choco bread roll and a mango bread. I recolored everything, but I don't want to leave an empty space on the side, so I will be changing the color of the mango bread a bit differently. And I love how the bakery display case is now full. It looks so cute and I just want to eat the breads right now, hee hee. Let's add paper bags in the counter where we will place the hot panda cell. So the closed paper bag already has breads inside. I'm adding this dispenser where I made it money container to place the payments. And I just moved the posters inside. The back wall is pretty empty so I will add an overhead cabinet storage. I will also add a calendar and a trash bin. As I mentioned earlier, the grandma that lives here loves to plant. Almost every elderly I see loves to plant and has plants growing in their garden at the front of their house. So we will make the front side full of plants that grandma takes care of. I will use different types of plants and pots, but this cheap, but is the biggest pot we will have here. I just want to use the small pots since plants like this is more common to be seen in front of Filipino houses. So I am just changing some colors of the pot so it would not look too similar from each other. I will also add a watering can on the side for more decors. And let's duplicate the plants to the other side as well so the front will look full of plants. I was looking for more clutter we can add and I saw this trowel and it is perfect since the grandma is adding another plant in her collection. 
So we will add a banquito or stool here where the grandma sits while planting. We will add more pots here in the middle too. I'm just gonna rearrange the pots. I wanted to add a spilled water on the floor so we will copy the water pile we made before and place it below the watering can. I am just adding a few more decors in the bakery because it looks quite empty though. I added the utensils because that would be for how we get the breads and we don't have tongs so we will just use the spoon container. I actually don't know what more to add so this what it's gonna be. So I added lights and of course I used the ceiling fans because not only does it provide lighting but also for ventilation. I'm gonna add the ceiling fans in the living room, bedroom, and the bakery. No fans inside the kitchen since we do not want the flour to fly everywhere hee hee. And I almost forgot to add breads in this tray container. So I just duplicate the trays of pandasal we made earlier. So before you duplicate, just recolor the container first and I will match the gray metal tray color. It costed me a few since I placed two trays down before I remembered that I should have done that in the first place. I just move the trays to where it fits and we are done. Yay! We are finally done, guys. The part 10 and last part of the No Game Pass Filipino Town series is finished. And OMG, the total plot value of this town right now is $395,320. And this is a No Game Pass town, so you can definitely build it in your plot. The only thing that matters is money. Cause OMG, it is almost 400k because I added so many decors. So if you guys want to remake this, make sure to save at least 400k or more if you want to add more decors. So yeah, this is the final house for our town. This house is owned by Lolo and Lola. And they have a bakery business as well, but grandpa named it after his wife Lola Nene. So at night they just close down these rolled up metal doors. And look how cute all of our TNAP eye. We have pandasal in the first layer, and let's just pretend that the other tray is a tray of panda cocoa, then Spanish bread. On the middle layer, we have kalahim breads, red and ube, then pineapple pie and hopya on the side. So we have two flavors, ube hopya and mango hopya. And on the bottom layer, we have mango bread and choco bread, and this cute crinkles that is chocolate and red velvet. And lastly, we have cheese rolls. I love how this all turned out. I know it's all just pretend, but I'm amazed by how it looked as well. So this is where we pay and get our tea nap eye, and they put it a brown paper bags to keep it warm. Let's go to Lola's garden plants. And yes, she is just planting in from and on the sidewalk hee hee. I'm gonna water the plant for now. It looks so cute, right? This is common in the Philippines since most of our Lolas keep themselves busy by taking care of plants. And Lola will just sit here while adding the new plants she bought in the market. Anyways, let's head inside for a house tour. So this is how it looks like when you enter. We have the bathroom in front, and the left side is the living room, and on the right is the kitchen. Anyways, we have here at the entry area some umbrellas and hook rack. Let's go to the living room first. So we also have the dining table here since the kitchen is quite full. I think the dining room being here is a nice choice since they can also hear the news on TV while they eat. So we have here an old portrait of the couple when they had their only son. This photo was taken almost 50 years ago. So we have two extra seats in case their son visits with his wife and family. And oops, sorry, I forgot to change the decals on the photo frames, hee hee. I'll just add the family portrait again. The decal I made are in the description box if you like to use it, but some of the decals I don't put are just from the free images search bar like this on the calendar. So this is the living room, and we only have a double sofa since it is just the two of them here. We have the certificates of their son displayed on the wall. And the portrait is from their family reunion from 10 years ago. We have the telephone and some phone books on the side of the sofa so it would be easier to be answered when someone calls. I also added a nail polish here because when the grandma takes a break, she sometimes liked to change her nail polish to a different color. They didn't change their TV to a modern look because they say they are old enough not to buy this high-tech gadgets hee hee. Anyways, that is how the living room looks like. Their house is quite clean since there is no kids playing around. And as you can tell by the curtains, the grandma's favorite color is purple hee hee. So this is their bedroom, and all their furnitures here are from 50 years ago, so this are antiques now. 
I also added the photo frame here because I don't know what photo to add though. Anyways, this desk cabinet is quite full of their everyday stuff. But the storages are full especially on top with old books and travel bags. As you can tell, Lola is a popular girl during her teenage days and even though they grew older, she never forgets to take care of herself and how she looks. Let's just say, she is kind of high maintenance hee hee. The photo albums here from the year they started to date until they got married, have a family, and until present day. The couple is a perfect match for each other since Lolo is the opposite of Lola. He is just a simple man with a huge love for food. And his wife, of course. So all is good for this lovely couple. Now let's go to their bathroom, and you can tell that this bathroom is really old because of the broken tiles on the floor. But needless to say, we can still take a bath here, all is well hee hee. So they just sit on this banquito when they take a bath since their backs and knees are not that good compared to their youthful days. But despite that, Lola can still wash their clothes and is still very active when it comes to household chores. So yeah, that is their bathroom. Now let's go to the kitchen, and this is my favorite part of their house. I love how this kitchen is not just for everyday use, but is also for their bakery business. So they have their trusted relatives that work for them and helps Lolo with baking. Lolo still bakes even with his old age, but lately he is just supervising the operation and it goes smoothly. So we have here the trays of bread that is freshly baked out of the oven. Imagine the smell of fresh bread. I'm getting hungry. Give me some please, hee hee. So this are more pandasal and cheese rolls. And we have the other ingredients on the storage shelves. So this is the small kitchen. I made it very cluttered to make the house lived in. We have here some of the secret ingredients, hee hee. And this is the mixing and prepping area. The table is quite small now because of the large bowl we have. But when you knead the dough, they will remove this bowl and have some working space in the center. So this is the commercial oven, and they only have one since it is quite expensive. Now let's go to the bakery area. And this is what it looks like right now. I really love how the breads look. And I am a foodie. So seeing foods make me so happy even though this isn't real food hee hee. So the assigned vendor would stay here to guard the bake shop. And that is the end of our tour. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is the last part of our No Game Pass Filipino town. I hope you like this video as much as I do. I would appreciate your support by giving this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the notification bell so you won't miss the latest videos I upload. Help me reach 10,000 subs before 2024 ends. We can do this guys. Love you all. As always, the build information, decal codes, and links of the other part of this Filipino town series are written in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. Thank you so much everyone for your support all throughout this series and to my channel. My next video will be the full town tour of this Filipino town, and then we will start the next series which got the highest vote is the mall. So don't worry to those who also voted for the other builds, we will make them one after the other. I hope you are all safe and have a wonderful day, afternoon, or night. Love you all and take care. See you on my next video.